Bottom. I'm from the gutter. I'm from the bottom. You was from the bottom, bro. You wouldn't even talk about 63rd. Come from the bottom, bro. I come from the bottom, bro. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is your boy NBA King David. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Hit that like button, comment, and let him know I sent you. Check out his new single, Dear God. Never broke again. Damn, Spancy. Dear God, evil lurks and it's hell on earth. It's slide or die, so we bomb first. What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say, I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it. But before I get into it, make sure y'all hit that like button. When you hit that like button to help my video on trying to grow, I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into it, man. Aunt Glizzy pulled the gun out on FYBJ Main. Let's start there. Yeah. He was whooping, guy. Now, if y'all don't know, man, y'all know FYBJ Main. He on his interview thing. He's interviewing a lot of different people. And he's pushing the piece. And Aunt Glizzy was just going viral a couple months ago for dissing damn the one side of Chicago and I say one side of Chicago because he said he rhymed with dirt he say dirt them just got to send him a couple of dollars and he gonna slide on 63rd yeah he say he don't like 63rd he dissed everybody from 63rd from mama duck duck from butter from Ruger from anybody you could think of billionaire black he dissed anybody that was affiliated with 63rd king yellow the list goes on i also broke down a song he did called duck and buckets and that's the song where he dissed the whole 63rd and everybody that's affiliated with him so when fybj main did this interview with aunt glizzy everybody was upset with man they like god eh, how you gonna go ahead and interview the ops but j main say i'm pushing peace let's start now so y'all already know it's tension because aunt glizzy don't know what he get himself into going to do this interview with fybj main and also fbg butter i don't know was he actually there but I know he's supposed to been there, but they realized it wasn't a good idea to have Butter and Aunt Glizzy in the same room. So it was really tension during the interview. Let's get into it, man. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. I did the Say Cheese interview with J-Man. And as I did the interview, me and J-Man had a good conversation. We had good discussions. We talked to each other. And we can be in the same room, basically. Like, they can have us in the same room and not gonna go down. Hold on, I'm my phone. I got a text message. So as we in the interview, I'm gonna tell y'all about it. So as we in the interview, we in the interview, right? I'm chilling at first, because in the beginning of the interview, Say Cheese told me something. Like, he was talking about personal things. And it was just making me think about life. I was reminiscing about my friends and things I've been through. I wouldn't even... Thinking about J Main, Chicago, 63rd Duck, or nothing. I zoned out for them seconds, and you just, I just caught myself stern, like in the days. So, <laughs> as I was reminiscing, I see J Main try to saw press me. Like, I feel he was like, man, like he was trying to get aggressive with the questions and all that. So, long story short, he getting aggressive. I feel his vibe, but it's like we, we professionals. We don't really got no aggression. I don't know J Main and never got into it with nobody in his city, verb I mean, physically, only verbally. And I have nothing against J Main. I talk to J Main on the phone. We text and we communicate. Y'all just don't know the end there. I'm a fan of J Main, though, y'all. I'm a fan of the whoops and it hit different. I be saying all that. Like, it's good content. So, I see him trying to saw press me a little bit. So then I thought about it. All right, we pushing peace. I whip the dog out. Not that you get a little bit of grass. I whip the dog out. Like, since we pushing peace, you can hold the iron. 
I'm going to put it by you because I'm, I'm going to let you know I ain't even scared or afraid of him. So I put it by his foot. He said he was on parole, so I grabbed it back and put it back beside me. Hey. <laughs> hey, man, we got to see this interview, man. Uh, Jay May put out a piece of the interview, but we got to see this part. Um, Jay May say he on parole. Man, that's come on, man. That's cow. <laughs> Hey, I most definitely got to see that part, man. When I pulled it out, he said, mm, do your homework on Aunt Lizzie having a dog. Like, he ain't even know I was tight, but it's like, I ain't coming around no, but man, it's a long story, but Uncle Buckus, I tested his, tested his pressure right there. That's my test now, and I see. Now that basically he know that I'm in control of this room for real. Now it's on the ups from there. I'm just doing me now. I'm letting him know personally like 63rd to the internet to the world you from 63rd so you don't know look wild like they got built that old block dead job so bad water linked up with the police and start getting immunity like y'all want it out duck die and y'all just straight went AWOL I had to put that in his head to the world and I want to say this man uh, I agree with Aunt Glizzy because I actually spoke on it on Triple Threat Friday this week I said the same exact things man Like Y'all don't understand 63rd Y'all make y'all self look goofy You feel me Not just because You know the other side is doing their thing And they, they look like they winning I ain't gonna even say that I said on Triple Threat Friday That y'all make y'all self look goofy Because y'all fighting within y'all self Y'all pushing peace with the ops but fighting with y'all self exposing each other so if y'all don't take each other serious how anybody else gonna take y'all serious like you gotta understand nobody else ain't really exposing y'all and saying this and that y'all exposing each other y'all beefing with each other like y'all done divided and to the world it already looked like y'all losing the war or lost the war and then not y'all destroying each other in that war with each other. So I agree with what Aunt Glizzy said, man. To the real 63rd, do look like some goofies. Know what I'm saying? You got your big names that's running the internet right now. It's known for snitching. And then the ones that's not known for snitching can't get along. They exposing each other. Like, y'all got to get it together. Y'all don't even understand. Believe it or not, when it comes to YouTube, 63rd, they run the internet with the YouTube situation because they blogging. They doing a lot of interviews. So they can control the narrative. But they can't seem to get that in their mind because they constantly beefing with each other. They constantly doing wacky it online so they they don't even know how to control the narrative they don't even know how to come together and just take over this sh but they can if they stop the bull but that's what it looked like he like i'm pushing peace i'm like yeah why didn't you tell duck before you want to make that song dead we pushing peace we not going to make that song he made that song y'all jumped around the videos told him y'all was ride slide let's go he died and now y'all pushing peace why y'all pushing peace because you're saying the biggest guys and your circle die and it showed y'all that damn we really can die they more important than us than the guys we look up to that's when you started pushing peace that's what i'm trying to put him into his head to understand for him to explain that's what basically the argument was going back and forth about it's like i have no problem with him that's just me talking about that situation i'm not even in the streets no more myself i told him that bro my best friend died bro i ain't in the streets no more i'm out but i got the pride to say i'm out i was never a gd or a bd i was never a game member active game member like, where y'all active gang members? How is an active gang member just out the gang because death happened? It's like, bro, these are BDs and GDs. Hundreds of y'all died. Like, this is what y'all do. Y'all hopping in to die for this. Like, this this is the only way out. This is a box. Y'all quit and just went to these stuff. Kind of YouTubers and government informants. And I was basically trying to tell them that Chicago had the rapper being the gangstest city in the world. Like, Chicago was the litters. They call that John the rack. That John the like, real live rack. That's your noun, it's the hat, like the hat pocket, like the stand, like everybody walking around, Church's News, Butter, King Yeller, the King Teller, FBI Butter, 
and tell all the news. Hey, Ron, I'm just doing wild shit. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm a fan of Aunt Glizzy too, man. He a character, bro. But he most definitely making sense. He most definitely making sense, man. Like he said, y'all gotta understand. Y'all start pushing peace when Duck died. When the heart of y'all situation died, y'all start pushing peace. So a lot of people looking at y'all like, bro, what is y'all on? And let me say this, I don't promote violence. We do not promote violence. I think pushing peace is actually a good thing. I think it's cool. And then also sometimes I think people that's in the streets, them losing somebody they really love or them losing somebody that kept the clique together, it make them wanna go ahead and leave the hood and leave the gangs and push the peace it make them want to do that you know what i'm saying and i understand it i understand it bro because i ain't gonna lie when my little homie got popped and it wasn't even no op that did it you know what i'm saying when he got killed by our other homie on accident it like really just turned me off to the streets like man i'm like man up that man like this shit ain't even worth it but i do want to say this like Aunt Glizzy say, y'all is still active. Y'all is still active and just saying, oh, I'm pushing peace. But technically, behind the scenes, y'all still active. And not saying that y'all doing any drills or anything, nah. But y'all still gang members. Y'all still banging on the internet and etc. If you gonna push peace, you gotta denounce the whole gang, period. Ain't no more GD. Ain't no more I'm um, BD. Because technically you still in the game. Like Butter came out and said, oh, I'm a civilian. I told y'all that's cap. And as soon as he got off probation, what he talking about? Oh, I ain't civilian no more and blase squase. You say you push your peace and you a civilian, but when the ops catch you, they gonna still do you dirty. Like, you either gonna get out all the way or you not. Point blank. So I'm trying to get J Main to understand. But J Main is one of the guys who holds Chicago down. Like, he holds Chicago down. I give him, I give him that. Without, without J Main in Chicago right now, I feel like Chicago got nothing going on. It's just a little dirt on the music side. But the entertainment side, without J Main, ain't nothing going on. J Main opening doors for a rock of y'all. So y'all gotta give him his credit. I do give J Main his credit. And I ain't gonna lie, man. That's none but facts, man. FYBJ, man. When it comes to the entertainment side, he is holding Chicago down. He done blew past all the comedians that was out before him. He done blew past all these YouTubers that was out before him. He done blew past all these rappers that's not at the top of the list. He done blew past them. Like, that boy work ethic is strong straight up and he's staying consistent he's staying consistent Ruger was the face at one point when it come to the other side but what happened he dropped they let the GDs in the door and once he got in the door what he did he sat back in his chair and relaxed nah bro when you get in the door that's when you go overboard for real, like that's when you put in work. That's when it's time to put in work. That's when it counts. And y'all be taking breaks like y'all done made it. And that's why y'all get put on the back burner and a motherfucker like FYBJ Main just come in and just take over. So salute the J Main, bro. I give you your flowers now, nah, like you on your it, gang. To the world, everything, we was beefing. I seen people say like, I'm disrespecting Duck, and I don't even know Duck, y'all. Uh, King Ella disrespected uh, not 63 DC and said my name with it. And I thought they be the, I don't know, bro, misunderstanding. But J Main pulled me up and told me about it. Once he told me that, bro, Yella not even from 63rd, bro. They don't even be together. They know each other. I didn't know that. I threw all Chicago, Chicago. I threw all BD, BD, GD. No, that's not what it is, bro. I'm FYB. I mean, I'm FYB. He FGB. He FBG. 
I'm like, huh? Oh, ain't making it make sense to me. I'm like, oh, he like, yeah, bro. They not even from. He from seventy third, bro. Do your homework on him. Been from seventy third. Do hit different. I did my homework. It's not the same. So that's when I say you right. I apologize to Duck and Mama Duck. I apologize to them though, y'all. I ain't got nothing against them personally. It was just a part of my tactic of somebody went at me from their city. I didn't know. Now for the people that don't know why. Aunt Glizzy start dissing Duck, Mama Duck, 63rd. It's because King Yellow said that people from DC was on the rainbow side. Rappers from DC was on the rainbow side. Y'all know Aunt Glizzy is from DC. So that was his whole point of going at Duck, Mama Duck, 63rd, Butter, everybody. Because he was getting his get back for what King Yellow said. But he said, I didn't know that King Yellow wasn't FBG. I didn't know that all that it was different. I thought y'all were just one. Like, it, like for real, like Billionaire Black. Like, <laughs> man, do your homework what Billionaire Black from. Y'all should really thank J-Main. Because I let J-Main sit in the room with me. Like, I sat in the room with J-Main. We sat in the room together. That's probably the only person in Chicago I sit down with. And we talked it out and got to an understanding. So y'all should respect him because like he the face of Chicago right now. <sighs> but yeah, I had to whip the dog out. And I'm going to end it on that note, man. If y'all want to see or hear the rest of Aunt Glizzy video, y'all make sure y'all tap in to his YouTube channel, Barber Sun TV. Y'all go ahead, run him up to 100K subscribers. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is your girl, Lena Love Lavender. Make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram. Hit that link in her bio and cop some soap, man. She got the best soap in the world, gang. You got any issues with your skin, she got soap to clear it up. No matter what it is, no matter what the situation is, Lena Love gonna make sure she take care of you. Hey, she got lavender soap, vanilla soap. She got mint, turmeric. Hey, whatever the case may be, but she just came out with this new soap, OPP. And the first day she dropped it, it sold out before she was even able to make a post. Now she done read up and she ready to give y'all that work. So make sure you tap in. And also the link will be down in the comment section. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Y'all don't know, man. I'm helping people get monetized. If y'all don't know, man, I be behind the scenes. I be behind the scenes helping these new YouTubers get monetized, helping their channel grow. A lot of people you see I do promo for, I'm behind the scenes helping their channel grow. If you a small YouTuber, and you trying to get monetized. You need a thousand subscribers. You need 4,000 watch hours. Hit me up on Instagram at music101ceo. And we're going to get the business club, man. I'm going to put something right here, man. You can see this young lady right here. She put the work in. She listened to what I said. And she put the work in. And she got results quick as a motherfucker. You hear me? Listen, I thought it was a glitch. I ain't gonna lie, she is the fastest growing YouTuber that I ever gave advice or help in my life, for real. Because a lot of y'all be procrastinating. It's a lot of YouTubers that I took under my wing and they not consistent. This young lady right here, she was consistent. I told her idea, I gave her some tips and less than a week, less than a week, her numbers tripled. Her numbers triple. A month later, she monetized. Man, listen. If you're trying to win, hit me up on Instagram. Music 101 CEO. Every day you Every day you wake up, you need to promote your company. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your brand. 
A lot of people don't like to pay for promotion. Well, guess what? You need to turn into a promoting guru. Marketing is the number one key to success. A lot of people is not making it in life when it comes to company businesses or music or talent, whatever it is, the product you're selling, whatever it is, because not enough people have seen or know you exist. You can have the best product in the world. You can be the best rapper in the world. You can have the best company in the world. But if we don't know you exist, how can we engage? You need to put it in their face every day. You post it every day. I don't care if you get one like, post it again, post it again, post it again. They either go and follow you or they go engage. If I see something come across my phone five, six times, I'm going to eventually tap on it to see what it's about. Marketing, promoting is the key to success. Y'all better get to it. Music 101. Alert. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music101ceo. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I will promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great. Thank you, Music 101 CEO. Thank you, baby.